Hey guys, it's me, Moomin Papa, and I'm gonna show you how to start your three commas bot with a trading view alert. Trading view alerts are great. You can have them sent to your email, you can have them pop up on the screen, you can also have them ding. These are great ways to remind you to get back into a trade or where a good opportunity was so that way you don't forget about it and it reminds you. But did you know that you could send these signals to your three commas bots to start and stop deals? When I first heard about this, I was a little bit nervous because I, I'm i techy to the point where I can do a lot of this stuff, but this seemed like it was way over the limit for me. But once I thought about it and I looked at it, it's it's a lot easier than you think it is. And I'm gonna show you now. I have a chart here. It's Lunar uh, versus Ethereum on Binance. So it's been a really whippy chart. This is why I picked it. This is really fun. So I need to find a spot where I want the bot to start. And I'm gonna choose just about here. I'm gonna draw a horizontal line by pressing Alt H on my keyboard. So I have this line here at 14,820. And you can see the chart has popped a lot recently. I don't wanna catch the top. I wanna to catch about here, or maybe right here, cause it might pop up into this region again. So I'm going ahead and do Alt H again. And that price is 15,658. If I measure that right here, this is about 5.6%. That's pretty good. Now, how many times does this happen? Let's measure that too. So if I had known, which I didn't, um, this is over the course of a uh, day and a half. How does this work? I need to set up an alert, I need to create one. So I want to choose when Lunar ETH crosses this value of 1482. Not once, but every single time it crosses. Every single time it touches this, I want to tell the bot start. And I don't want to pop up. I don't want to sound. I want to send email to SMS. And this can be set up and configured here. I'll include a link for this. It's the support uh, wiki entry on setting up these custom trading view alerts. It's really simple. In your private details block, put signals at robot.3commas.io for the SMS email field. That's it. After you've done that, this is gonna send a specifically coded start signal for your bot to three commas. And every time the price goes there, it's gonna buy. Now, before we can put that code in right here, we need to set up our bot. I wanna choose a simple bot because I wanna buy low and sell high. I'm gonna call this my Loon ETH. Um, custom TV bot. I'm going to choose my exchange. I need to choose Loon. A Lunar. This is long. I want to make more Ethereum. So I choose the quote currency. How much do I want to put down a, per trade? We'll just say, well, this is interesting. Actually, let's look back at the chart. We could do a couple of things. So you can see here the price. If it hit this, it only fell 0.28 0.65% down. It doesn't fall that much. So really, 4% seems safe. Right here, it fell down 2%. 4% is very conservative, actually. Sorry. There we go. Just for this range, not for the history of the chart, just for this range. So I'm going to choose this. Um, I'm okay with four safety orders. Actually, I'm not because I'm over. So I'm going to make this three. Voila, there we go. And I'm using almost all of my stack. What's my profit percentage? If I leave it at 1%, when the bot goes 1% in profit, it panic sells the deal, I'm done. I don't want that. I'll show you why. So I'm actually going to put in a crazy amount here because I don't want the bot itself to close the deal. I want the TradingView custom signal to close the bot's deal. And I'll show you that in a minute. We're all set here. Actually, for this one, I want to choose 0.7 because it doesn't fall that much. And I could actually change the scale as well. And I could front load the bot, meaning I'm going to put a lot more in front. 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.97. There we go. So that this is what I want. And actually, we'll leave that at 1. Here is where I choose that custom signal. Notice nothing else comes up. And after that is done, I click Create Bot. And at the output of this, 
I get something new if you haven't done this before. I get a message for deal start signal and all this gobbledygook. And I get message for panic sale signal with all this gobbledygook, which looks identical. And it is, except of this. It is identical, except for the last part in the panic sale signal. There is a little bit of an addition, action, panic sale. Everything else is identical. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful. So this is my start condition. Going here, I want to start when Loon crosses this value that I established before, 1482. And I want it to send an email to SMS. And this is the message it will send to the three commas bot to start the trade. I also want to create another alert when it crosses this value of 15658. And I want this to happen every single time. I don't think I selected that for the last one, so I'll have to go back to it. And now for this one, I need to copy this text, paste it in. I'm going to go back here. Up oh, every time. Wonderful. Save. Double check. Up oh, only once. There we go. Every time. It has to be every time. If it's only once, then it's only going to happen one time. And I don't think that's what you want. So this way, the bot will get triggered to start as soon as this price hits this line. Then it will sell when the price hits this line. It's honestly simple as that. But these are static lines and static amounts that I'll have to update. I mean, I could go back here. I can click edit and I can adjust these lines, but that's going to require a lot of work and monitoring on the price. And I don't want to do that all the time. So I'm going to get rid of that. For those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love Takashi Club indicators for many reasons. You can watch more about those videos right here. The reason why I love them so much is because when you layer them together, they provide so many different and interesting ways to use them with three commas bots. For this example, I'm going to use Takashi Bows and RSI Scalp. With these two on, I get a lot of information on the five minute chart. I'm just using five minute chart because that's what I typically use for when I'm scalping. But it's an interesting way to look at it this way too. And I'm going to show you why. We could use this in a very interesting way. For instance, like the price that was there before, we could go off of that. We could have it be when the price crosses, not a value, but when the price crosses Takashi Bow's down bow once per bar close and this would be the deal start signal. What that means is every time the price goes below the bow, the down bow right here, like right there, then it would buy. It would buy and then it would wait to sell and on what condition would I want to sell? Probably when it goes outside of the up bow, which I could easily do. I could say crossing the value of Takashi Bow's up bow once per bar close. And it's going to do it every single time. And then I choose this one as my, this is my message that gets sent, create, done. And every time the price goes outside, it buys on the bottom. And every time the price pokes out at the top, it sells. On five minutes, this might not look so great, but on 15 minutes, you can get some really good entries, actually. It depends on the time. This time wouldn't be so great. I mean, if you bought here, right when it fell out, and then you sold there, you might sell at a loss. So you have to be careful about where you're entering. You want to find charts that are consolidating. Now we're on the 15-minute chart, and this is over a span of a day and a half. We could also use different time frames to find out what would work best for us. Again, it's not a one size fits all thing, but right here would be a great place to buy, for instance. And look at that. That's a nice 1% right there. Easy. You don't have to worry about it. You could also not choose the, let's find out what this one is. Um, this is the sell condition. So we don't want to sell there. You could do this in a more minute way. You could even take this and every time the price goes below the round, that's when you would buy. And then you would sell when it goes above the round. This is just using one instance of the bows. 
Now that might not be great because I'm just kind of, you know, spitting words off the top of my head, but there's so many ways that you could use bows to start and stop the bots. Okay, that's enough of bows. What about the RSI scalp itself? Now we've layered our signals, RSI scalp and bows. We could have the start signal be when the price goes below bows. There we go, and this will be our start signal. And we could have the sell signal. I'm going to go ahead and copy this now. You're going to love this. We could have the sell signal be not when it exits the bow, but when it hits the resistance, when it crosses the scalp RSI resistance. And again, resistance, support. Support, think about it holding. Resistance is how far it's going. So I can choose once per bar close. This is my sell. This one you're going to need to be more patient with. I mean, we're on a five minute chart, so it goes below the bow here. Of course, this looks great. 10%, yes. Price goes below the bow here, so you'd have to prepare for 3%. You buy a lot, you wait for it to go above, and then it pops above, you get 7%. Even though you actually you're buying more because you're dollar cost averaging, you have your safety orders and you sell boom at the top. You want to back test this, and you can back test this stuff. Here, bam, see that happen? Then you might want to say, okay, well, I'll start it here. And when it goes below, boom, that's 30%. I know, I know, hindsight is 2020. It's easy to call these after the fact, but this is just one way to do it. Now we're on five minute. Why not check out to see what one minute has? I mean, we can, we could buy. Let's look something more recently. So when it comes out of the down bow and when it comes and it hits the ceiling, so there's 3%. Now this happens a lot. So maybe you'll, you'll just have to tune it to your liking. And it also depends on the chart right here. So it's, it's something that's customizable, which is nice. There's no specific set way that you have to use it. There's so many ways and so many different, there's so many different combinations that you could use, but what I'm trying to get across to you is that you don't have to stay locked into just using the price or the stochastic RSI or the MACD or the golden cross or the death cross to start your signals. You could use multiple signals. You can use multiple indicators and when they have the best entry points, use it. And when it has the best exit points, use it. Does it mean you're going to have to wait? Yeah. For, the, for those of you that have been trading with bots on three commas for a long time, you might be used to just more rapid boom, 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 boom trades. This is something where it's a little bit different and you're just going to have to wait. You're just going to have to be more patient with it. But man, that's a, that's a nice payday to wait for. That's a wonderful payday to wait for right there. And that would take a day and eight, yeah, a day and eight hours wait for it. So you dollar cost average down. And of course you don't have to play it that way. One other thing that I want to say is I cannot wait for trailing, take profit and trailing stop losses because I mean, looking at this, this alone right here would be great to have your start buy when it goes under the bows and then just let it run, let it run. I mean, have your, take profit be at eight seven percent look at that with one percent trailing profit boop, 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 bam it goes below the bow boom eight percent trailing bam goes below the bow eight percent bam three commas please please we want trailing in the bots i know i know it's hard please pretty please now this chart has gone up and then it's going down be careful you have to manage your bots. When you're using bots for training, they are not money printing machines. They need attention. You need to be checking them at least once a day. And when I say checking the bots, I mean checking the charts. What's the chart doing? What is it doing now? Do you need to adjust anything? Make those changes, make those adjustments, see how it's performing. Try the different indicators and try the different layering options like I've showed you here too. There's so many ways you could approach this. It's phenomenal. 
and it opens up an entirely new way of looking at bot training. Well guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you loved it, and I hope you guys are staying awesome and staying in the green. Peace.